Other interesting political news, the Secret Service is now telling Trump to simply, well, don't go outside. Which, again, is the, I was about to say one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in politics, but let's be honest, it's 2024, it's been an insane year. And, I mean, it's hard to beat the head of the Secret Service saying, well, we didn't put a sniper on that building because there's a, a little bit of a slope. I'm not sure if she is mentally vacuous or corrupt, maybe a little column A, a little column B, but that slope was so basically it was not it was such a, a small slope that the trump attempted to assassinate her uh, went on it was so gradual a slope a cow a couple days later went onto that roof and i should clarify it's not the secret service gal who's the size of a cow cowering behind trump when the bullets are being you know being shot at him it was an actual physical cow that was you know actually on the roof so the secret service says too dangerous for a person to be up there but yeah it, it, because it's too, it's, it's too slopey. A cow got on. And now they're saying, oh yeah, just don't go outside. Which, I really pr I really hope that Trump has private security at this point. I mean, it nearly got killed the first time with their ineptitudes. Whether it's a lack of communication, corruption, who knows. But, yeah, let's just say, uh, hopefully his security detail is bolstered by the private sector as well. Now, this was brought to us thanks to DC Drano, no affiliation to the Drano company where you fix your kitchen sink. Please don't think, that would be a great product pitch though, perhaps, maybe. Now, DC Drano says, quote, Secret Service now encouraging Trump to stop holding outdoor rallies. This isn't about his safety. This is, it's because the Biden regime wants him to stop holding giant rallies that shows popularity. And now they're kind of threatening him. Don't have huge rallies or you might get hurt. Now, there's actually a repost from Alex, ALX, which, as I can say, I'm not sure, how, he must be one of the first users on Twitter to get that short of a URL or that short of a username. And he says, quote, breaking secret service of officials are encouraging Donald Trump's campaign to stop scheduling out large outdoor rallies in the wake of assassination attempt to kill him. He also got 1.9 million views for his post and 4.9 thousand likes. And this one got, and Wokeness got 1.3 million and 32 thousand likes. Uh, one of the first comments comes from Sassfrass84, in which she says, quote, it's called election interference. Crazy how they blame the victim instead of the perp about their negligence. It's oh, that's the crazy rhetoric of the Democratic Party that caused this. Getting 583 likes. Going down more and more. You have Spangled Banner Shimmer saying, "Make them bigger. Patriots won't stand for it." Getting 152 likes. Mr. Reality says, "Quote: Trump needs to hire private security and keep doing the outdoor rallies. No more DEI protective details." Getting 309 likes. Christina Monroe says. Not kind of, it's pretty blatant. They're going to blame him for the next instant merely for not invading their command. Getting 386 likes. Transodis one says, sounds like they're threatening him. Getting 242 likes. You also have Brady Middleton saying bulletproof glass. Getting 84 likes, which wouldn't be the first time a public official used that during a speech. Big Papa Smoke says, or you could just do their damn jobs. Getting 45 likes. But the slopes. Bella says, do not comply, getting 83 likes. There's an article from the Washington Post saying Secret Service encourages Trump campaign to stop using outdoor rallies. They should instead use indoor venues, such as basketball arenas and other large spaces where thousands of people can fit. People familiar with the request said, getting 22 likes. Lex Magnum says, whatever happened to protecting our democracy, getting 46 likes. Justin Irish also said, There's, there are tons of top-notch vets that would gladly uh, be private security. Let's get them on board, expand the detail, and hold even bigger rallies. Getting 77 likes. Well, thus far, no contrarian statements that I can see. Yeah, and again, I mean, that is one of the most popular things Trump does. His rallies are legendary, and they are quite large. They have thousands of people. It's like in a, a vintage Aerosmith concert, some might say. And yeah, I don't think Trump is going to listen to this. I mean... If anything, he's just going to campaign harder or campaign more. Again, that's one of the most effective ways he's gotten support over the years, and it shows the world though, how astronomically popular he is. So, yeah, Secret Service, I don't know if they should get an F minus again, but yeah, definitely a fascinating advice. Just don't, just, I mean, don't, don't make it, don't make it. I always do one of those memes like, don't make me do work. Like, yeah, don't have, don't hold outdoor rallies. What about, don't have a sniper in plain sight. And just do nothing when you see them. Just do your job. That, that would probably be a more effective thing, I would think. But let me know. Do you think Trump will actually stop having outdoor rallies? Do you think he'll listen to them and start having indoor, you know, massive stadium debuts? 
As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.